for the women, it's going to be massive. Just not for just the women racing, but grassroots level. It's probably going to be the biggest tour in the, the UCI calendar for women. Can't wait. Like everyone's talking about it, so it's going to be it's going to be really exciting. Something to aim for as well, and it's in Britain, a big event. Five percent of media coverage is for women's sport in general and 0.1% of sponsorship in sport is for women and we need to change that. This is a real opportunity to make history. It's going to be the first ever women's tour here in the UK and this is a great event to showcase women's racing and show how exciting it can be. We're creating something that's unique. We want to do equal prize money to the men's equivalent race and do everything that the men's equivalent has, which is going to be a first of women's cycling. To wrap around each stage, we have a sports festival going on in each of the major towns and cities we'll be visiting, specifically focused on girls and young women. The really exciting thing about the Women's Tour is it's going to be the first ever UCI International Women's Stage Race here in the UK. The way the International Cycling Union are talking to us, at the moment they view this as a game-changing event. I think we'll be able to do whatever we like, so it would be great to take it around Britain. But the first priority is to make 2014 be absolutely fantastic, which I think it will. A brilliant There's a real, real buzz around the women's tour, especially in the current women's pro peloton. A lot of people that rode the Olympic road race last year said it was the best race they've ever ridden in terms of the crowd and the support. And the bars across the line. Fantastic performance from Lucy Garner, point towards the jersey. Fantastic performance by Danny King. They all really loved it. never knew how beautiful the UK was, so everyone is really keen to come back. So it's going to be some real tough competition getting in the team. We're looking for sponsors who want to change the world, if you like, rather than simply have a banner up at the finish. And the people who come on board, the sponsors and supporters, we think to be associated with something that's a game changer internationally will be a very powerful for them and hopefully their brands. Here comes the attack, and it's Hannah Barnes of MG Maxi Fuel now beginning to apply the pressure. That trademark sprint of hers. It's going to be another victory for Hannah Barnes. She crosses the line first. Day in the dark strip's going to take it. Day takes victory here. Barnes looks as though she's still got the measure of her opponents, although it's pretty close right on side of her. Barnes takes it. Here she comes up to the line. Armit Stead is the national champion. Barnes launches the move now. Look for the victory salute. Here she comes up to the line. Barnes takes it. No, it's going to be massive and I, I, I can't wait for it. A potential partner can gain a huge, huge amount of exposure from an event which is really making history and leading the way in women's cycling by trying to offer equal prize money and TV coverage. Women's racing is really exciting to watch and there's definitely the appetite out there to watch it so I think it's going to be great exposure.